hi <laughs> is this this it says that it's live which is very exciting because i it was here like 10 minutes ago to start a live and then it was early and then so i tried to distract myself from how awkward it felt to be sitting around by myself live and now i am <laughs> late and if that doesn't say everything i don't know what does um i'm super excited to hi Hi, do I push this to wave or can I just wave at you in real life? <laughs> um, this is fun and uh, new and wild. Um, super excited that you guys are here. I'm so happy you guys are here. Uh, I'll be doing some signing today of some people who, hello, Scorchers, um, who sent things in through Streamly, but I've also um, down to chat with anybody who's here. We will go through some of what is available. Um, I'm really excited to hear what you guys have to say about some of this because I always feel like there's this funny thing. Hi, TV shows and movies, 92. That's, oh, that is an amazing. 90, is that like the year 1992? Hi, Malik. Hi. Um, uh, because I have thoughts about TV shows and movies in the year 1992. Um, hi, Jeff. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so exciting. Um, I am told that the focus today is on the, the trails world, trails of cold steel, trails of reverie, um, 1992. That was good. There was, there was good stuff happening in 1992. I love it. Um, uh, and for that, I am thrilled. I've been able to be a part of a number of um, the Trails games and then um, to do the anime on Crunchyroll is really fun. That's my first one ever. So, you know, feel free to have me back anytime. I'd love to do it. Um, there's also somebody here from for, uh, for, oh, you are, you're playing. I'm going to interrupt myself so much, you guys, because I don't even know how to do this. You're playing Reverie right now. I love it. Um, for uh, League of Legends, doing Misfortune was so fun. It's that, like, I get to be a, a pirate dream. You might hear my rooster out the window because he's um, noisy. And he's, he's like a knock-knock joke of interrupting rooster. His name is Gonzo. So if I start yelling at somebody, that's who I'm yelling at. <laughs> um, but I'm excited to be here. Um I am well. Uh, I am excited for the holidays. The th my holidays are really different now because I've got tiny people to do holidays for, and so there's all of the all of this um, stuff to do now. All of a sudden, where you're like, do I make magic or do I just try and not be a cranky person? So um, I end up just baking a lot because that's <laughs> I I stress bake anyway. When it's the holidays, it feels like even better times. Um, so, uh, Jeff, he does have a girlfriend named Camilla. In fact, um, when we were hatching out our chickens, I'm just going to interrupt myself over and over and over again. Um, when we were hatching out our chickens, a friend said, please, 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 will you name one of your chickens Camilla? I was like, yes, obviously. And since we had no white chickens to name Camilla, I named our blackest chicken Camilla. Um, but then we had a surprise boy in the group, a surprise, um, cockerel who, who, who is now a gigantic rooster. He's so, he's so big. Like he's, he's the biggest rooster I've ever seen. Um, so naturally he had to be Gonzo. So Gonzo and Camilla came as a team. Um, and their, their hatchmate is Peeps. She was very nearly Beyonce, but the toddlers named her Peeps because kids do that. They steal all the good stuff. We still have, oh, can you guys help me today? We have one chicken we still need to name. So we hatched out two new babies. One is a tiny black fluffy chicken who all of her feathers curl backwards and her name is Wednesday. Um, and we have one more that we need to name. So if you guys have a great name for a very sleek black chicken, her mother is Kelly Kapowski because the rooster that she came from was AC Slater. So she was Kelly Kapowski. So uh, if anybody's got a name for Kelly Kapowski's baby, I am ready. Um, will I tell the cast members of Don't Look Under the Bed, The Young and the Restless, Days of Our Lives, The Justice League Action, that I'm a fa I would love to tell them. I will. I will. Um, here's a fun fact. 
I am still friendly with um, the lead of Don't Look Under the Bed, Erin Chambers. We still run into each other on a regular basis. And um, on my very first, no, not my very first, I think my, my second episode of Justice League Action, I walked into the room and Stephen Tobolowski was in the room to record and he was in Don't Look Under the Bed. So I was able, what? 18, 20, 15 years later, however many years later it was to, to say, Hey, you were here on my very first project. And now here I am again. And you're here on my show, which is, uh, just the coolest thing ever. And he's just the coolest guy ever. Um, super, super fun. Oh, thanks. I have really enjoyed being able to do Clara over these last few years. It's been really fun. And to take her through an arc from the hero to the villain, to recovering herself, to, through through grief and through through vengeance and and uh, to get to to move through all those story arcs and all those um, those ways that people move and shift and change over time is is a total blast. Um, hi, I'm. Is this? I don't know. I is this like when we did pokes on Facebook where like at first it was cool and then it was dorky. I don't know if I'm. I don't. Is I'm gonna hit all of your waves because I like them. Um, I renamed her imposter Claire. <laughs> um, well, that is fair. That is fair. Uh, it's been a blast. It's been really fun to be able to keep, to keep playing in all these worlds and get to, to stay in relationship with all the people who make it because, um, that's always the biggest gift of the, the work that we get to do, right? As the people that we work with. Um, Let's see if, speaking of which, um, where are we, what do we, what do we, I'm, I think there's something I'm supposed to do here. There's like a thing I'm supposed to do, right? Um, so let's see, Dan, is Dan here? Dan, are you here? How are the chick? Amber, the chickens are doing so good. This, they're so... Name of the chicken, if male, Nick, if female, Aurora. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, the best part, Jeff, is always, it's always the people, especially the people in um, animation and games. They're just, they're the kindest, warmest, most talented people um, and welcoming. They make everything more fun. Uh, that's always the best part. I have this tiny tiny little, I'm looking up because I have this tiny little desk because some of you who've been around, you know that, um, my husband and I, we, we built our studio into a shipping container that was just like in our <laughs> backyard. Um, and, uh, so it's a very narrow, um, space and, uh, I honestly, I don't know how people live in one of the, I mean, I do, I lived in a tiny studio before, but it's a very narrow space. And so we had, we built a, a tiny little desk and it's so small that I'm like moving things around so that I can get out what it is we're trying to get out. Um, yeah, working with those guys is so great. You're so, it's, it's a fun little studio. We did okay, right? We, we cut the holes out ourselves with a, um, an angle grinder, which is really fun. Installed the windows, installed the doors, built uh, all the, the soundproofing and the framing. If you ever get a chance to build a building from scratch, it's very satisfying. I highly recommend it. Um, read a lot of books. Just so many books. Measure twice, cut once every time. Um, but let's do a little bit of what, uh, what we are here for. What is this button? There's a, there's a little thing on here. I don't know. Nope. It went away. <laughs> what is that? What does this button do? Oh yeah. No, get, there's a, I'm looking up at you because the desk is so narrow that the only place I could put, <laughs> I could mount the camera is like above my computer. Um, but um, let's do, oh, hi. Hi. Hey, Rachel. Oh, that's what the reflection point is. Hi, Mark. How's it going? I, I just pushed a button. I, it said request to join. I, so know, I don't know how this is. Love it. I don't know either. I, I, <laughs> oh, anyway, so hey, good to, good to see you. Look at this. This is so fun. You too. This is the past. This is blast Mark. from the past, right? From, from back in the day. Hi, if anybody can see me. 
I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> I'll close this. I don't oh, know if everybody's I, watching me or what. <laughs> this oh, is where we get to leave. Oh, stop sharing. Apparently that is what that button is. That is the, um, that's the, the hangout and join button. Nice. <laughs> but I liked it. I haven't seen Mark um, in a long time, but we have stayed on touch. <laughs> we stayed in touch since college. So great. So much fun. Um, all right. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do some of these. Let's see. We've got a request from, from Dan. I wish I had a last name, Dan. Um, I wouldn't say it online because that feels like it's not great for people's privacy, but I will put it here. Maybe that's, maybe that's you, um, Dan, who's on here. So I'm going to sign, uh, uh, now if anybody wants to change their quote or let me know, because here's the dirty secret of voice actors, you guys, you guys a lot of times remember our best lines better than we do. So if you think of a great one, you tell me, because sometimes we're just like in it for hours and then we go to the next thing and sometimes we come back, uh, ages later, but you guys have actually gotten to play it and stay with it. So if you, if you think of a great line, because I want to know what the good stuff is, I want to be around. So I'm going to sign this one for Dan. Dan has asked for mission complete. May you rest in peace. Uh, always good to come back and come back in the end. I love it. Hi, Tim. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Dan, great. I love it. This is you. I'm so happy. All right, let's see. Here we go. This is where I hope my handwriting is legible. There we go. We'll put my name over here in this big spot. There we go. Damn. Please don't rest in peace, but I'm glad that we completed the mission. So this one's coming to you, Dan. I'm so excited. This is so fun. This is like such a new and different experience. That is convenient when I have to feed livestock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> but if you have a con uh, in your town, I'm so excited. Thank you, Dan. Um, if you have a, a, a con in your town that is great, some of my favorites are the small ones. Like the little towns where you actually get to like hang out with people, let me know because I wanna I wanna know uh, where the fun stuff is happening. I don't know what, what what is the good stuff. Um, let's see. Let's. Uh, oh, I like this one. I like this one from uh, Luca. has a has a different quote. This is what I love. I, I love this quote. Just I hope you can let yourself be happy. I love it so much. This is so fun, you guys. Um, so this one is for you, Luca. I hope you're here. Just, I hope you can let yourself be happy. Georgia. I've heard about good times in Georgia. Dragon Cons in Georgia, right? I love it. These are so fun. So the internet is kind of hilarious and I'm like just old enough that it still feels confusing to me sometimes. Like a minute ago when I didn't know what I was doing, uh, but was still like, well, still happy to see you more. Um, and uh, the video that I posted the other day with the blue hair filter, my parents both separately were like, um, did you dye your hair? And here's my answer to that. I did not dye my hair. I would dye my hair. 
would love to dye my hair blue. It is so much work to maintain blue hair. Anyone who maintains amazing rainbow hair, mad props to you. I was like a professional redhead for like 10 years. Thankfully, my children are natural redheads, so I can just enjoy it vicariously through them now. But even that became so much work. I was like, to, to be blue, or I've always kind of wanted to try pastel purple. I think that would be really, really fun. I would love it. Uh, I just, so it would just be so, so much. Does anybody here maintain it? Like, how often do you have to? Or I just, Danny, I am biased. Married a redhead, a made redhead. Love I'm, I'm, I'm biased toward the ginger. I love it. <laughs> so I'm with you, Dan. I like it. Um, who is that? Oh, Cyber Warrior. Hi. Hello. I love handles, and also I wish I knew everyone's name. I wish that I knew where all of you were, but I'm so happy to see you. I'm so excited. Um, let's see. Cress. Cress is excited about. Misfortune, and I also am excited about Misfortune. Misfortune is a blast. Misfortune is in League of Legends, and I think is the only game that my husband and I are both in. Like, there's also a lot. <laughs> any, any game or project we've both been in, one of us ends up dead at the end. Usually him. Um, so Misfortune. I have shared Misfortune. Hi, Shai. Hi. I'm happy that you're here. I'm so glad that you made it. Thanks for joining us. Um, I, uh, I, I share misfortune with a few other ridiculously talented people, so it's, um, it's always really fun to to see which version of which time people get really attached to. But I mean, how do you not be excited about being? I am. I'm excited about it. Um, let's see. Press. Oh, that is not showing up well. Let's see. See, usually, usually the bronze is the move. She's not showing up well. Let's see. Let's try. Let's try silver for press. There we go. That's much prettier. There we go. I bet this part is the most fun, the part where you see the top of my head. I didn't, I couldn't figure out how to move this down and in. Oh, I'm so glad that you came by. Thank you so much. I hope to see you again. We'll try this again sometime, another time, or maybe I'll come to Georgia, which would be amazing. And if I do, you have to promise me to come. So I will see you guys. Thank you. Um, Cress, this is for you. Bang, bang. I just, I love, I love the, the gun goddess motif. I think it's just so much fun. And honestly, like, I just want the hat. I want the hat. So good. It's so good. <laughs> um, oh, oh, hey, I love this. Oh, and let's. Let's find you this one here. I love this one too. Um, the uh, the full the full get the full kit. I love it. Now I'm gonna test this pen because I thought I had the right one to be. That's the shiny. And this is the. There we go. That's the one I wanted. It turns out. All right. So Colin, here we are. Um, we're looking for a nice tall Claire. Also, like, do we want these boots? We want these boots, right? Like, these are really, I want those boots. Can I raise goats in those boots? Or do I have to, like, be cool in them? I'd like to, I want this stuff that I can, like, ride horses and, like, muck out goat stalls that I don't have yet, but I'm going to make someday. <laughs> and, and then and then also go be cool I don't, 
I don't feel cool these days, but I do keep animals alive. I am growing things, and that feels good. That feels like a start. Um, where are we? We're here with Colin. 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 Mission complete. May you rest in peace. Scorch, I'm I'm for it. Let's do it. Let's get you hooked up. Let's let's get you one. We can make it. Oh, I'm good at drawing. I am not good at drawing, but I fake it a lot. I try. Here's the thing. Get tools that are fun for you to use, and then just play whenever you have the chance. Whenever you have the chance, just play with them. Hi, shy. Good to see you. I'm so happy that you're here. Oh, Joe is here. Joe Rays and Shy Shy Rays DJ. Is that it? Is it all those? Shy. I like it. I like it so much. Um. All right. Let's see. Let's see. We've got we've got a few more that we that we should come take in here. Let's uh, let's jump in. Let's make sure we've got something here for Anthony. I'm excited about having this for Anthony. This is great. Here we go. Anthony. I love it. My sins will never disappear, but I also need not shoulder them alone. I need not shoulder them alone. And for you, shy. I love that. It means gift. That's beautiful. There's a lot in that. There's a lot that can be taken away with that very idea. I love that so much. Um. All right. So Anthony, here we are. For you, my friend. Let's see, we're gonna, you know, what we're gonna do. Do you think this is the move or this is the move? I think, I think, yeah, we're going this way. Yeah, we're, we're, we're yeah, I like it. Don't know crowdsourcing. <laughs> Kitty is good, Jeff. The two kitties are doing so. So, I have one gigantic cat. We don't know what he is. We got him from um, a rescue called Cat. Um, and he's so soft. He has like bunny fur and he is my baby and I love him so much. And then um, uh, just recently, like in the last year, uh, an amazing voice director, Book Chalmers, who's also a good friend of ours, um, adopted a cat and turned out she was pregnant. And so when she had a litter of kittens, there was, um, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? A a tortoiseshell, a tortoiseshell kitten, um, and she's she has like almost chimera. I'm obsessed with chimera animals, obsessed. And she she had this like almost chimera line right down her center, and she um. So I told her I was like, if she needs a little farm to grow up on, uh, so she is with us too, and it's so great because our big chonky kitty Jax, um is now it's like he's in his second youth because he's got this kitten to chase around and they're hilariously opposite and um the difference of like because like the tortoise shell why did i not know this before you guys like she's she looks like a ginger cat that got dipped in ink and then somebody tried to grab her when she was running away and the ink just got rubbed off i've never seen so much like patterning through it before and the science nerd in me is like so excited about the gene expression that like comes in and out and shows itself. It's the coolest thing. Uh, so the answer is the kitties are doing so good. They're so happy. Our curtains are absolutely shredded. <laughs> but at a certain point with toddlers and kittens, you have to be like, you know, how important is this stuff and how important is everyone's happiness? <laughs> oh, she is happy. Jax is happy. Our dog. Great American playwright August Wilson is um, a border collie, 
he is very he was in here before and then he uh Gonzo started crowing and he was just like I gotta go see, I gotta go see stuff he's like such a working dog at heart with not enough jobs to do we need to get sheep just to make the dog happy um that he had to go out and manage the chickens and it's very important that he keeps them in line he just he heard them it's very funny have you ever seen chickens be herded it's very funny so anthony we're here with you <laughs> oh this is what it's like at a con i just talk to people the whole time and then i'm like oh they're i'm supposed to do a job i, I apologize here we are so anthony anthony are you here My, my sins will never disappear, but I also need not feel good and alone. What does the mic sound like in here? Is it any good? How are we doing? Does it sound okay? I love how meaningful these quotes are that you guys choose. It makes me really excited. Are you Anthony? I feel weirdly self-conscious whenever you see that I have a ring light because I feel like that's that's like a weird internet-y thing but otherwise you just end up with like terrible light so a ring light feels both like necessary and like makes me self-conscious does that make me is anybody else where you're like no 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 I just look up like this and also I did make sure to shower today because I knew I was gonna talk to you guys <laughs> Ooh, a unifoil, is that, is that, that's beautiful. Is that, did I say that right? Um, thank you, princess, hello, I love it. I love it so much. Um, this is amazing. You guys, my family is on a group chat. My, my parents live on another continent right now. My brother used to live on a, another continent and he just came back to North America. And then my parents live on another continent. And hi, Jeff. Oh my gosh, you're here. Hello. Um, and then I have another brother and another sister and another brother. And so like the, the group chat takes on these like kind of hilarious waves in and out of energy while we're, we're trying to figure out how to find each other all in the right time zone. So it's like the group chat is just rolling right now. It's like, guys, come hang out with me here. Oh, you're talking about the family eggnog recipe for Christmas. That's also important. Eggnog for Christmas. By the way, in, in case any of you are wondering, Jeff, Jeff, it, it is a breakfast dish. For, for any of you bakers that you need to know, eggnog is a breakfast beverage for Christmas morning if you celebrate Christmas. And if you don't, it's just a breakfast beverage for any random weekend morning, particularly when it is homemade, particularly if you make it with custard the night before. Because here's the thing, this is what I realized as an adult. My mom served us eggnog every Christmas morning in my childhood with no rub, obviously. Um, in fact, it's so much so that like any eggnog with like rum or brandy flavoring, it tastes wrong to me. Here's what I realized as an adult making ice cream. You guys, eggnog is just melted ice cream. It's just, it's just melted. It's the same custard that you mix then with like whole milk and whipping cream. It's just melted. That's why it's so delicious. When you don't put silly things in it. Yes, gee, that's me from Don't Look Under the Bed. It was my first big, um, it was my first, my first job. It was my my first uh, SAG movie. Um, it was my first big project. Uh, it was so exciting. It was like the first time I ever had a custom wig made, and they made my clothes custom made. And here's a fun story. Are you ready? Okay. Um, hi. Here is my story about Don't Look Under the Bed. So. I shot Don't Look Under the Bed in Utah. I was still in college. I wasn't quite done. I was very fortunate. It was so much fun, such a great opportunity. Just before I graduated from college, I had a chance to go to Taiwan and do a live stunt show in Taiwan for six months. I was like, 
yes, I would like to fall off of buildings and get lit on fire every day for my job. Hi, Alan. <laughs> um, and so I moved to Taiwan and I go do this live stunt show and it's like the coolest thing ever. But you guys have to understand it was the early days of the internet. It kind of existed, but like not really. Like they were still HTML pages that were like, doo -doo 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 -doo. so I am living in Taiwan. The first movie I've ever done, my big like SAG movie comes out. It's airing on the Disney Channel, which we don't get in Taiwan. And I'm relying on my family to watch me and tell you how it is. And I get an email from my grandparents. And all of us are new at email because email is new. And they're saying, I'm so sorry, honey. We watched the whole movie and you're not in it. And I had heard stories about actors getting cut out of movies. I'm like, I know that Kevin Costner got cut out of the big chill. I, that's like a thing that they tell you. I'm living on the other side of the world. I'm like, oh, it's okay. I'll make more movies someday. It's okay. Uh, they didn't recognize me because of the wig and the <laughs> the adult clothes and the fairly passable British. Act. I married a British man. It is. I feel out of myself. Keep okay, that job, and I might do the accent a little differently now if I had the chance. <laughs> oh no, he's here. That's embarrassing. Um, but speaking of people who are here. I also met on that movie Steve Valentine, who then, with Ellen Rice, who is here, hello, I saw again 15, 20 years later, however long that ago that was, at the Magic Castle, because it turns out he's also, of course, a superlative magician, uh, because the world is tiny, and everyone should hang around with all of the cool and fun people, because you never know when they might come back into your life. So that is my story. Of don't look under the bed and the early days of the internet. Now, uh, we would, they wouldn't be able to get away with that because IMDb exists and you would know if you were in it or not. Um, let's see, we've so we've said hi to Colin and Anthony and Cress and oh, Brian. Brian, let's get you, let's get you in here. I'm excited about this. Brian, let's see. I think we've settled on silver as being the move. Everyone say hi to NJ Watterson. Hi, he's here to make me feel safe and happy. Um, it is also his chicken that is crowing outside of the window so relentlessly. He's just so loud. You guys are telling me that you can't hear him, and I have to believe you. Uh, Brian. Hey, Brian, I love that you that you gave me your last name. I'm going to put just a first name on here, but I love that you gave me your last name so that I can feel like I was meeting him. It makes me happy. Okay, Brian. Brian with a Y. I'm going to make sure I spell it right. Everyone deserves their names to be spelled and pronounced correctly. I gave my children hard to spell names. Sorry, guys. Here we go, Brian. Mission complete. May he rest in peace. And I will never do a rest in pieces joke, even though I really, really want to, because I am at heart a very happy Canadian. Hey, Brian. I don't know what the procedure is. This I don't. I don't spread this. I don't know if I'm doing this the right way or the way the cool kids do it. But here we go. Um. And I think Cody. That's the that's, that's the one here for Cody. So the um. Uh, a couple people have said that they uh, were interested in one of these. Here's the good news. Um, they sent me a few extra, so I'm going to um, sign a few extra. They won't be personalized, um, but I will sign a few extras and we'll send them back so we can get some out to you guys. Anybody who is here and wants another one, if you want to tell me about a con to come to, I love con. love seeing parts of the country you've never been to or going to favorite places. Um, uh, there's all kinds of ways that we can still connect. And I'm on here on a pretty regular basis, so feel free to reach out anytime. Um, here we are, Cody. Can I just tell you guys, Cody says, write any quote or attack or both, have fun with it. There is nothing that gives me more anxiety than writing a quote or attack. Because I'm suddenly like, oh no, is it gonna be fun enough? I don't know. And then I just wanna do bad bits. 
you guys like overreact to self-consciousness by doing terrible, terrible jokes. Hi, Chris. Hi, I'm I am CJ. I just I want to like I'm CJH. I hope eighty four. I mean, you were born in eighty four. No idea. Or graduated in eighty four. Um, and then I just want to like make words out of all those letters. My toddlers are at the age now where they just like write letters down. And they're like, what is, what word is that? I'm like, that is, um, but I will try to pronounce it for you. Even though it has no vowels, it has a backward C. That's probably an, a letter in some language. This is what I'm talking about. This is uncomfortable jokes. This is bad bits. I'm going to stop. I'm going to sign this for Cody. Hi. Hilda Persona. Hello. Hi. So, Persona. Persona. On my list of, like, weird delights was working on um, Persona 4, where we were, like, the other band. I was in the other band. And I, I feel like my character... Like her alternate identity was like a horse or something. It was like an animal. Now suddenly, Cat Rivers has turned into a terrible story. Uh, but, but it was really, really fun to do like the back, like the backstory side thing. And I was like, this is as close as I'll ever be to being in a pop band. So I like it, like a lot. I will always carry the deeper notes and never ever the melody. My children also tell me that it's like it is better for all of us that way. <laughs> Cody. Is it sad that I need like that much attention to write my own name? Probably. Here you are, Cody. I'm so excited. This is so much fun. Um, we'll have a, a few others available for anyone who feels like didn't have anything today. Um, oh, well, hello. Lyndon, hello. Um, we'll be, uh, putting together some for Miss Fortune, for Claire. Um, I'll do some for Wonder Woman. Um, we'll, we'll send some of those in case anybody is interested. Um, I don't know, like, this is also hair I wish I could pull off. I once went into a hairdresser and was like, can you make my hair do that? And she goes, no, that's a cartoon. And then I felt appropriately chagrined because she was right. That was not, it was not a reasonable question. It was not, it's not, I don't, like I said, I would totally do blue hair conceptually, but then I would have to actually do something. And that would be very, very hard. Um, yes, I am. I'm excited for the holidays, partly because it kind of slows down for a minute. So it gives you a chance to like take a breath and make some choices about how you're going to spend your day. Um, we're in a part of California that is rarely gets rain, but we're actually supposed to get rain for the next couple of weeks. And I'm like wondering, I'm like, where am I going to put my wildflower seeds? And where am I going to plant some, some new things in the dirt? I've clearly like entered a new stage of my life where instead of hunkering down in bad weather and like binge watching a TV show that I haven't ever seen or like movies that I should have seen by now and hadn't, I'm like, what can I plant in the ground and grow? Maybe I can learn how to watercolor paint. I've been working on my um, my sticker journal. I'm like, oh, well, the pages are all full of stickers now, you guys. The, the pages are all stickered full. And now I have to, I, I have so much space to fill in with markers and color. And and it's just, it's like, it's like craft therapy. I bought myself new yarn to crochet with. It's not like, I don't have a project in mind, but I have yarn now. So now I will think of a project. When we were touring, um, did we do? You watched the Justice League action. Look, here's the thing about Justice League action. I will always be so grateful and proud of that. Like, 
I remember the feeling of going to record the pilot and being terrified because it was like my dream come true job. And I, I remember literally saying to myself, I was like, even if you get fired after today, they can't take away that today you were Wonder Woman. And then I got to stay Wonder Woman for 52 episodes of the show. And the show is brilliant. And the writers have all gone on to do incredible things. You guys, the writers, incredible things. The actors that I got to meet. But honestly, the shorts are one of the most fun things because most of those shorts came out of us. They were ideas that were like developed out of us doing bits while we were recording because we were so lucky to get to record together. So like half of those shorts came out of jokes that the actors and the writers were doing with each other while we were in the middle of recording other episodes. And then, you know, like six or eight months later, they'd be like, okay, we're going to record this little short too. And it would be this bit that we had been working on just for fun. So I love the shorts because not only are they very funny and they're very joyful, um, but they remind me of how much fun we had together and how incredibly creative um, a room like that can be. It's just, it's, it's so, it's so fun. I love working from home. I really miss being in the room with other actors. I'm, and I even more, I miss being in the room with like the writers and the producers, the people that you don't usually get to see. Like it's, it brings such a special energy. And I now realize how ridiculously lucky I was that my first, like, big animated show, my first one was in the room together. It was just, it was, it was so cool. It was so much fun. The people that I got to meet, people that I got to work with, the experience of getting to learn from people in the room. Um, it was just, it was, it was the best. I never did get the musical episode we kept asking for, though. We'd gotten a third season. We were, we were fighting for a musical episode. It's not fair that Batman only ever got one song. Kevin Conroy had a gorgeous voice. We needed to get him singing again. I miss him. But also, we needed him to sing another song. We really did. Our Green Arrow had a ridiculously good voice. Our, our Superman had a ridiculously beautiful voice. I would have just like held my own and been like, I'm here for the ride. <laughs> I never got the musical episode. Maybe someday. Maybe that's what we should do at a con. You guys, should we do that at a con? Get a panel of voice actors and turn an episode musical? Jeff, make it happen. Can you do this? Can you make this? <laughs> That would take rehearsal, and we don't like to rehearse. We're not. <laughs> that... Oh, you know, I, I don't. My hunch is any show that you haven't heard. The question is about um, Lauren Faust, DC superhero girls, and could it be renewed for a third season? I do not know. I do not have any inside information on that. I do know that if it looks like something is gone in this marketplace generally speaking it is um because production actually takes such a long time it takes so much longer production on animation than i ever realized um but it's also like a really fascinating process to see how much it all interacts so if it hasn't come back it probably won't come back but i will say i did get a chance to meet lauren uh twice and she is the most phenomenally creative, invested, committed person. Like she loves the characters that she has created in the world that she has developed so much that um, if we're not lucky enough to get a third season from that, you're gonna see something amazing from her again. Like she's, she's just an incredible creator. She's also very tall. I always wanted to be very tall. She is very tall. Neither here nor there. <laughs> it's just true. <laughs> um, well, I'll be here for about another 10 minutes. Does anybody have any questions so that I don't start rambling like a weirdo? It's too late. I'm already rambling like a weirdo. Um, any, any, anything anyone's, anyone wants to say? I've told you about the chickens. I've told you about building this box. Got some toys. What are the kinds of like, Toys that you guys are excited about these days. Everybody was doing Funko Pops. Are we still doing Funko Pops? Are we into that? 
I'm excited about classic, like old school five inch um, action figures. And maybe it's because like I always wanted the Star Wars action figures when I was a little kid and we weren't allowed to have any. Um, but uh, those are my, the, the ones with like the super articulated parts, those are my favorite ones. What are you guys, what are you guys liking? Um, yeah, yeah, send me, send me a request. You can do that. Send me, send me something. We'll hook you up. We'll get, we'll get you set. Um, oh my, you guys, I'm getting a podcast pitch right now. I'm excited. Send me an email. Let's, <laughs> let's do it. I love doing podcasts. It's so much fun. Um, I, since we're here and we're live, why not? Um, I've done a podcast with a couple of you today with uh with Aaron with a couple of people who are here um uh and I love it it's really really fun and I always feel so excited to get to talk about all this stuff that I love to do I did a podcast the other day where somebody asked me instead of about my work about parenting I've had imposter syndrome for a week what is that about um but I'm excited. Um, it's Jesse Yellen's It's Not About Your Body podcast, which should be coming out soon. It's a completely different set of information altogether. It feels so like vulnerable and strange and exciting. Um, but I love I love sharing this with you guys. And uh, we'll we'll I'll chat I'll chat about this as I learn more about permaculture. I'll talk about that too, because clearly I just. Uh, you guys are lovely thank you so much this has been so much fun we're gonna wrap it out oh yeah meet no conventions is a great place to meet um voice actors but honestly we just love people come find us here online come come check in with us here um most voice actors have a website now for direct contact that's where usually I will field um, context for podcasts. And my general answer for podcasts is, sure, I've got time. Um, every once in a while, I don't have time. We have to wait a little bit. But um, I love talking about what I do. And I love the people who love it. So I, I'm sure I am not alone. Um, it is wonderful to spend this time with you. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for visiting with me. Um, I'll be signing a few more of these things in case anybody missed it today and wanted to you'll be able to find them on um streamly.com i'm new to this whole thing but i'm excited about it and i'm so happy to share it with you happy holidays happy hanukkah to those who just celebrated happy christmas happy new year happy kwanzaa happy happy solstice next week i'm very excited about that as we're getting more and more connected to the literal land that we're living on um Merry, merry, happy holidays to all of you. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for sticking with me while I talked very loud and very fast. Appreciate you guys so much. Good night.